Hey GWF fans, this is Wilbur, the GWF intern, and I'm back here at GWF headquarters. Uh, you may notice that I've uh, spruced up a little bit, and the reason is the board of directors has been around these offices uh, recently a lot in the past couple of days, and they're looking into files and everything, so, you know, I want to give a good impression because uh, something is up. I don't quite know what it is, but something is going on here, and uh, you'll hear about it first as soon as I hear about it. Well, uh, survival has come and gone, and what an amazing night of action it was, ladies and gentlemen. Starts off with a huge shocker. Commissioner Massive comes out and strips the Jungle Warriors of the Tag Team Championships. Now, I, I understand, uh, you know, he, where he's coming from. Uh, the GWF is about action, and uh, Malkuth is out with an injury. He's going to be out for quite a while. The Tag Team Champions can't defend the belts, so uh, he stripped them of the belts. Uh, and... Uh, the big news is that at Civil War, which is always uh, every year a yearly tag team tournament uh, to, to uh, crown the number one contender, he's thrown the tournament out the window, and we're going to have a tag team battle royal uh, now uh, to decide new champions. Now, the way this is going to work is um, all the tag teams go in the ring. You've got uh, Titan Fury, Rage and Paralyzed, Divided We Fall, the Troubleshooters, Master Race, they're all in the ring at the same time. They start battling over the top battle royal, just like normal. Uh, but once your partner is eliminated, you are eliminated too. So, uh, you know, you don't have any extra chances because there's extra guys. And uh, when it's down to the two final teams, it becomes a regular match. And those two teams will fight for the new champions. Uh, kind of an odd way to decide the champion, but I'm not the commissioner. I'm just an intern here, so it's not my place to, uh, to question. Uh, what is going on. Uh, the other news is uh, the Jungle Warriors were, of course, stripped of their titles, um, but Commissioner Massive has said that when Malkuth is healed from his injury and they come back, they will get an automatic title shot against whoever is the champions. So um, I, I guess that's okay, but it still must be heartbreaking for, heartbreaking for those Jungle Warriors who have, uh, have tried to you know, work so hard to get the belts, and then as soon as they get them, they get injured, and uh, they get stripped of them. But uh, I don't think it's the last of the Jungle Warriors that we'll see uh, holding the belts around their waist. Uh, other big news um, in terms of Commissioner Massive goings-ons at uh, Survival, Nosfera suspended for three cards for attacking the fans. Now, the people I've talked to around here think that was a little bit of a, of a lenient sentence for he attacked a fan who had to be taken out on a stretcher and is only suspended for three cards. Now, we'll miss the uh, the big uh, title tournament, which will or the uh, number one contender tournament, which we'll talk about here in a few minutes, but I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know. Uh, what do you fans think? Do you think that uh, three cards was, uh, you know, enough, or do you think it was, um, you think it was too little? Um, other news, uh, how about Payback and Anivar putting Sly Drury out of action for six cards? Did you see that at the end they just wailed on him and then uh anivar laid him out on the table payback took a steel chair to the top ropes and uh, gave him a leg drop with a chair underneath driving sly drury through the table and uh just sly drury had to be taken out on a stretcher giving him a bit of a taste of his own medicine and um he's gonna be out for six cards so it will be quite some time before we see sly drury around here now the thing i, I know about sly drury is He's going to be planning. Even though he's not actively comp competing, he's going to be around and he's going to be planning. And uh, some would say he's actually a better planner than a, uh, a wrestler. So um, I'm, I'm curious to see what the future will bring. Um, and uh, the main event of Survival, of course, uh, was the big shocker of the evening uh, was when Disaster pinned Monolith in that Survival match and uh, eliminated Monolith pretty early in the match uh it was quite impressive and uh but the the night has to go to thrax from master race thrax he took out bloodline he took out wolf and he took out disaster to win the match for his team now that that's pretty impressive for a tag team wrestler uh to be in there by himself and beat three top stars and and win the match so uh thrax gets my mv like him or hate him gets my MVP award for uh, survival. Now, coming up, uh, we have, of course, Civil War, which we've already talked about uh, with the big tag team battle royal. Now, because Civil War is usually a tag team tournament and all these tag teams are going to be in a uh, battle royal, uh, they've opened the card up to a few singles matches. And, folks, I've got a couple of the uh, single matches that you're going to see at um, Civil War. 
get this, Disaster taking on Monolith. Now, it's a non-title match, but uh, Disaster one-on-one -on -one against Monolith. Uh, Monolith was demanding um, a, uh, a rematch against Monolith after what happened at Survival, and uh, he got it. But uh, non-title, which is, uh, you know, makes me think Monolith doesn't need to hide. Uh, I think he can de defeat just about anybody on any given day, but he's demanded that it's non-title. So uh, that'll be an interesting match. And get this, Payback is taking on American Guy. American Guy has demanded a match with Payback. Now, Payback is not a member of the FDF. He was just uh, filling in for one night, and American Guy has uh, sworn that he's going to make Payback pay for uh, his actions at um, Survival. Uh, after, of course, Civil War, we've got Betrayal, the number one contender to the Galaxian title tournament. That's right, uh, all the eligible superstars will be going against each other in a one-night-only tournament to find the number one contender. And, uh, of course, that brings us up to the big event at the, big, uh, the end of the year, Big Bang. And uh, who's going to be champion at uh, Big Bang? Is it going to be Monolith? Maybe. I don't know. Who's going to be tag team champions? Folks, you know, it's the last month, and you think uh, the last month of the GD GWF, nothing major happens. It seems like everything's happening this month. And uh, and let me tell you, with the board of directors around, I want to be uh, on my best behavior and uh, bring you all the latest news and rumors. So that's it for this time. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to get your tickets for Civil War. They're going very, very fast. And uh, that's it. Until next time, we'll see you later.